Kosciuszko is the safest and easiest of the seven summits. Kosciuszko is in the uh, southeastern part of Australia, uh, about halfway between Sydney and Melbourne. So most people will either fly into Sydney or Melbourne. You can also fly into Canberra. But you fly in, you rent a car, and then you head up to the peak. There's no need to acclimatize. Um, but you may want to schedule a few extra days in there. Uh, if the weather is too bad to climb to summit on your first day, it's nice to have a few extra days. And it's a cool area, so it's nice to just allow yourself a bit more time to explore if you're traveling all the way around the world to climb Kosciuszko anyway. But there are two main routes for climbing Kosciuszko. You can either go up Threadbow, you can either take the chairlift or just hike up the ski mountain. Threadbow is kind of the most popular ski mountain in Australia. Or you can go via Charlotte's Pass, which uh, bypasses Perisher uh, ski area, but uh, you can drive to the end of the road, park your car there, and then trek up to just below the summit proper. And then there's um, kind of a, a graded uh, trail all the way to the summit from there. But in the summertime when there's no snow, uh, it's a it's a pretty pretty easy walk. You don't need a lot of time to acclimatize. You can just basically show up and climb the peak. I like to uh, recommend that people plan a few days for a climb of Kosciuszko just in case the weather is bad. So you've got a day or two on either side there. Uh, the weather can be absolutely perfect. Nice, clear, sunny, calm day. But they do get some pretty ferocious weather uh, down there as well. So. If you're hiking Kosciuszko in the Australian summer, uh, then you don't need much for gear. Uh, you definitely want to bring some warm layers, maybe a, a, a mid-weight uh, puffy jacket. But in general, if it looks like the weather's going to be good, uh, you don't need much. You know, it can be uh, it can be very warm up there, so you can summit in a t-shirt. But definitely make sure you're prepared. Uh, if you're going up there in the winter, then you need the full winter gear, a, a big heavy parka and warm pants and uh, good insulated boots for climbing through the snow. Costs associated with Kosciuszko are pretty low. Um, you know, most people just hike Kosciuszko on their own. Uh, if you go up in the winter, you can hire uh, a few local guide services based out of uh, Jindamine that will trek you to the top and back down, kind of show you the route. Um, to make sure you don't get lost in the snow or whiteout. But if you go up in the summer, um, it's a very easy to follow path. Uh, so uh, you can do that one on your own. I think the, the biggest expense with Kosciuszko is just the logistics of getting there. So buying a plane ticket to Australia, flying into Sydney or Melbourne, and then renting a car. Uh, you know, renting a car in Australia is, is relatively pretty expensive accommodations are pretty expensive in Australia compared to a lot of the world. So those are your big expenses uh, when climbing Kosciuszko. One cool way to spice up your Kosciuszko climb is to uh, hire on to a course. There are quite a few training courses in the snowy mountains. Uh, we offer one, uh, the Australian Alpine Academy. And basically that's just a four day intro uh, mountaineering course where you go out and you learn how to camp in the snow and you learn the basic climbing techniques. Uh, during that training course, we get some, some great weather and great training for peaks like Denali and Vincent. So that's a good way to spice up that Kosciuszko climb and also use it to build some skills for uh, the future seven summits.